This video is all about me. How I started off and how I became Penny Glenn. This video is all about me from when I uh, started my journey. Uh, I go back in time. I went to Marklandhill County Primary School uh, and then I went to Rivington and Black Rod. When I was there, they said to you, you've got to learn, you've got to stick to the rules. You won't go forward otherwise. I never listened, I never stuck to the rules, and I've turned out okay. So, things happen to me in life like they happen to everybody. Uh, how do I start this? Okay, let's go. Right. Went to Rivington and Blackwood High School, had a great time. Left school at 15, signed out of school due to bad health. I'm being straight with you now. When I was 17, I was diagnosed with manic depression, which is now called bipolar. Not good. Been in hospital, in that hospital most of my life. Uh, but for the last 20 years, I've not been in hospital and I've been well and stable. Um, I've had a lot of people out there that always said, you know, you're going to fail, you're never going to do anything in life. Yeah, I left school with no qualifications because I got signed out at 15 due to poor health. But my year tutor and the headmaster said I will fail in life, I'd never achieve anything, I'd never be anybody. There was one teacher, one entire teacher, the entire school, that said I would be somebody, and that was Mr Mansfield. He was my year, um, form teacher, and he was also my woodwork teacher. He said, Ian, you'll never be a, a joiner. But he said, you'll, I've got, there's something about you, and, and he said, I think you're going to, when you find something you want to do in life, you'll really excel at it. So hopefully he's going to get that right. If you notice, the extension I've been building on the front, I'm going to call that the Mansfield Wing, after Mr Manfield, because I think he'll be proud how I've built that cabin. So, like I say, I've been in and out of hospital most of my life. I've been in rehab centres a few times. I just want to state, I have never once in my life took illegal drugs, and I don't drink, and I have never really been a drinker, and I've had the odd shandy and stuff like that, but as far as it goes. So I've never cut, my illness has never been caused by out like that. Uh, so I started off in the dog game, uh, I've been in a dog game for over 15 years, I've competed in field trials, working tests up and down the country, uh, I did really well, I've run in team events, I've been a working test secretary, I've done all that, I thoroughly enjoyed it all, had my heart attack, again something else wrong with me, started with my epilepsy again, so I've retired from the dog game now, I don't compete in any way, I very rarely train now, I'm not well enough, so I wanted to refocus and do something different with my life, and that is... Cabin life. So I live in an off-grid cabin, which is totally correct, and I'm very, very happy in my life. I'm, a con I'm contented in my life. I enjoy making videos every single day. I'm going to give you a little shoot back on some photos of when I was younger. Now these are photos of me when I was at primary school. And these are photos of me at secondary school. Scary. And then these are photos of me later on in life and doing things in life. This is the photo of me ironing my shirt ready for my first date. So I've moved on a lot in my life. I've had a lot, I've approached a few of my closest friends who know what I suffer with. Um, I've always tried to hide it away to people because I've always been ashamed that I'm a manic depressive. It's just something of the era that I was born in that it was something to be ashamed of. But like now, the stigmas have changed and things are different and I, I believe now that there's not as much stigma so I feel now's the time really to say to the world that, hey, I'm a manic depressive and I'm proud of it, you know? So, I want to be a YouTuber, I want to do my best, I want to influence people and I want people to leave the mainstream life and live a rural life in the country, things are better I live a simple life in my cabin and it's made me who I am today. 
and for me that's a better person. So my dad's proud of me, my family's proud of me, so that makes me a rich man. So, but when I started off in the dog game, people said to me, you, you know, you, you've no money, you're not, you're not going to achieve anything. So what I did was I bought the best bloodlines and I trained and I trained and I trained because I knew I would succeed and I did succeed. And like I've always said to people, if you get a chance in life and you can make that break and make that change, go for it, grab it with both hands. That's what I say, both hands and go for it. That's my advice to anybody. Anybody who's wanting to start a YouTube channel, go for it. Don't think to yourself, oh, well, you know, I've not got all the gear. Look, 90% of the videos I've ever made have been made on my smartphone. I've never had a camera. Never had a camera. I've never had the money for a camera. I saved up and I saved up and I've got myself the Canon uh, 70D. I've got the uh, Jody mic. And I've got a softbox, which is giving me the light. It's a simple setup, it makes the videos better. All I can say is give me a chance, put me on the mainstream and I'll do you proud. I will do you proud. I'll see you again next time down at the cabin. And always remember what I say, dinky do.